from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Nice, sunny, bright day. It might be a good day to go get the car washed, right? I know we've all got a lot of dirt and gunk on our cars from the last several days. Took mine to get washed this morning, and uh, I saw a lot of other folks doing the same. Good news is we got the green light on the car wash for the next several days through the weekend through Monday. No weather issues at all. By the middle of next week, by next Tuesday, next Wednesday, that looks to be our next storm system. Not a winter weather maker, but that may be our next chance of rain uh, around early to middle next week. But until then, several good days to go get the car wash. Now, of course, some areas have still got a lot of that sleet hanging around uh, on the ground on the grassy surfaces. I mean, this is looking from Jinx, uh, not too far from the Oklahoma Aquarium. And I know a lot of portions, even the south, southern, about the southern half of the Metro, then to the north and east, and also in parts of southeastern Oklahoma, still sleet on the ground. So this is temperatures right now, and I've got the visible kind of contour overlay. It's right in here, southern portions of the metro, right up through Inola, Wagner, Pryor, it's kind of south end of Grand Lake J. That is a lot of sleet that's still on the ground. Uh, don't be surprised if this takes, uh, I mean, today and, and well into tomorrow, uh, maybe longer in some spots to melt all of it away. Sleet is just really stubborn, that, you know, compact ice that it is compared to maybe some you know, fluffy snow that's easier to melt. Sleet, especially thick sleet like this, can take a while to melt. So we may still have some lingering effects from that into the weekend. There's some, you may not be able to see it as well, some in southern Latimer, uh, Pittsburgh, LaFleur counties as well that's melting off. Temperatures either way, though, again, we're generally in the upper 30s. So here's the loop on visible satellite. You can see a little bit that uh, as we loop the last few hours melting south. And if you look really closely, it might be hard to tell. You can kind of see the, the edges of the sleet uh, corridor here starting to melt a little bit. So today will certainly help the cause there, but that's still a lingering effect from this week's wintry weather. Highs this afternoon, generally in the low to mid 40s where we don't really have sleet left over. Those areas would be the warmest, mid to upper 40s uh, near especially west of Tulsa towards Pawnee, Bristow, Okima. Lower 40s around Pryor, Grove, Tahlequah uh, into parts of southeastern Oklahoma where you still have kind of that lingering sleet and slush. Thankfully, winds today are light, so that helps us out as far as the comfort level. Tomorrow morning, now tonight into tomorrow morning, we fall below freezing. There might be some fog to deal with. I think tomorrow, especially Pittsburgh, Latimer, and the floor counties, be aware we may start off with some visibility issues Saturday morning with temperatures below freezing. Could be a brief freezing fog period. We'll be watching that closely in the morning hours. But tomorrow afternoon, no problems. Highs in the 50s, morning clouds, afternoon sunshine, but notice those winds on Saturday cranking up 20 to 30 miles per hour. So the trash cans may be uh, tipping over, going flying into the neighbor's yard tomorrow. They drop off Sunday and then they pick back up again on Monday. So giving you a jump ahead into the latter half of the weekend, Sunday, again, starting off on the cool side of things. But then for the afternoon hours, winds will be lighter on Sunday. So that's why I think the second half of the weekend, Sunday in particular, Sunday afternoon, is going to be spent spectacular with highs around 60 degrees and a relatively light breeze. Monday, again, the winds crank back up and then moisture starts to increase with the cloud cover out ahead of our next front. Look at Monday afternoon's temperatures. Trying to put this winter blast in the rear view mirror here with highs in the upper 60s. The only drawback, as you know, this time of year when we get warmth and wind and dry weather is fire danger can become an issue. Kind of an elevated fire spread for Saturday just with the wind, Sunday and Monday with the warmth and occasional wind. But then by the middle of next week when that next system moves in that should produce at least a chance for some scattered shower and storms this is monday night into tuesday morning still several days out but it looks like we'll have at least a chance for some showers tuesday that system could linger into maybe wednesday or thursday as well but there's still a lot of kind of unknowns as far as next week's uh, setup and uh, outlook with that storm system Seven day forecast. If you missed it earlier, here starts the climb. Sunny but chilly today, windy on Saturday, and then great weather on Sunday. Monday, warm and windy, and then there's that next potential rainmaker around the middle of next week, Tuesday into Wednesday.